ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Wave Pro Hair Club! Make sure you check out our store at watermaneuver.net where you can get our range of high quality merchandise including this Indiana born and bred t-shirt hoodie and vest and our special out of this world hoodie t-shirt and vest. Nice pop there for the champ. I'm calling it now, Wells. I'm saying this is match of the night. That is a bold prediction. Peyton will see if it plays off. We have got two very talented young men about to go in here and do what they do best, and that's steal the show. While this match is officially underway, the Ultra Rapid Championship is on the line. Aaron Atlas with shots to the face of Colt Storm. Big shoulder block, and Atlas is off to a roll. Oh, wait. Oh, big lariat by Atlas. Definitely off to an ultra rapid start here in this match. And even though Atlas is off to a good start, I mean, not now, Colt has taken over. But you gotta wonder if the pressure of getting that third victory is weighing on the head of the champion. Absolutely, there's so much riding on this match because if Aaron Atlas loses, everything that he's worked hard for is gone, just like that. So, of course, there's definitely a lot of pressure going on through the mind right now of Aaron Atlas, but he's got to worry about getting out of this. There he goes. He's out of it. Oh, and it doesn't matter. A back elbow right to the chin. Colt Storm getting the upper hand right now, and the crowd trying to will Aaron Atlas to his feet. It seems to be working. Atlas fighting out, shot to the midsection, and Colt is rocked. And the crowd wants another chop. We know what they want, and it seems Atlas is gonna give it to him, looking to light Storm's chest up. But look at Storm, man, very resilient, doing some chops and oh, counters man. of his own. Saying anything you can do, I can do it better. I guess you could say that... And man, hey, Storm better watch himself. He doesn't want to get disqualified here. I guess you could say that Colt is lightning quick, Peyton. I'll give that one to you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Is this Storm looking for a count out victory? This early in the game? That's a, that's a risky move. Oh! Oh man, I think Atlas's head just bounced off that steel barricade nice. on the outside of the ring. Nice drop kick there on the outside of the ring by Colt Storm, but yeah, you gotta win this match on the inside to become the new champ, so Colt's gotta get him in there. 
Dallas trying to do whatever he can to keep momentum on his side, but he's got to be dazed. His head hit that steel, but somehow he is fighting through the pain. And oh my God! That suplex on the hardest part of the ring, that apron. And that did not feel good for Colt Storm. Aaron Atlas now finally back in the ring. Irish whip to the corner and a huge European uppercut right on the jaw. And a second one. Colt Storm is so fast, Peyton. He's so fast. I would say lightning fast, but you've already made that joke. I went to the well just one too many times. And he is paying for it because Atlas is coming in. Oh, what a counter! Up and oh, oh, that did not look good. Looking for the Spanish fly. This might be it, Peyton. Did he get all of it? Oh, and somehow, some way, Aaron Atlas kicks out. And Colt can't believe it. Storm landed right on his head. Doesn't act like it's affecting him, though. No, but Aaron definitely felt every bit of that move right there. But somehow he was able to kick out. Wait a minute. Colt Storm, what's he doing? He told the referee to check on the turnbuckle pad. And oh, wait, oh, he's using his wrist tape to choke out Atlas. What a dirty move there by Colt Storm. I don't know, can the referee, the, he's counting, but can he see the tape? I don't think the referee saw the tape. Very, very weasel-like move, but very smart by Colt Storm there. Hey, when a title's on the line, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It ain't cheating if you don't get caught. Up and over, and Atlas. Oh, what a kick to the side of the face, and Storm is down. Looks like the tides might be turning in this match. Aaron Atlas finally able to catch his breath inside the ring right now. He's got to stay on Storm, though. He has to take advantage of this opportunity. Both men now outside the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, looking for a back suplex there on the rampway. Oh. oh! That'll jack the back of the champion. Aaron Atlas crashing hard to the concrete on the outside of the ring. The referee is making his 10 count right now. If Storm gets in the ring, this might be it. The problem is you can't win a title on a count out. Storm has got to get Atlas back in the ring and he just recognized that ref I can't win the title on a count out. All right, Storm's got Atlas back in the ring. Oh! Right on Atlas's head. Spike DDT. Well, I gotta believe that's gotta be it. Oh, wait. Like, barely, barely gets the shoulder off the mat. I don't know how Aaron Atlas kicked out of that, but somehow, some way, he has a lot of fight. Somehow still left in him. Atlas's head has taken some serious trauma in this match from, from being oh, banged oh, look out, off look out. of the... Oh, what a song! We are gonna have a new champion! Oh! Unbelievable, Peyton. I could have swore that was a three count, but somehow, some way, Aaron Atlas kicked out again. Storm can't get flustered here, though. He has the champion rocked. He needs to stay on Aaron Atlas if he wants to walk out of here. Is the ultra rapid champion. Well, Atlas counters. That could be it. Will that be enough? Will that be it? Yes, it is. Still, 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Robert Black here for New Wave Pro here at Higher Ground, and I am standing here with the always charismatic Paragon. <laughs> Sir, uh, we knew that you were going to be here at Higher Ground tonight, but it seems that you have been just causing chaos and getting into everyone else's business. First of all, the people that come to hear you talk, they came to hear Paragon. Yeah! Paragon letting him know that this is Paragon, Paragon country. Paragon taking his feet. Plus, second of all, in New Wave Paragon Wrestling, everything is Paragon's business. From the camera woman that is filming greatness that's standing before you, to the ring announcer that better not get Paragon's name wrong, or else will be the last thing he ever does, to the boys in the back that hate Paragon, because on their best day and Paragon's worst, they don't even measure up to an ant, let alone Paragon's needs. To even many of these women in the audience right now that want to take a ride on Paragon's walk on apocalypse. But you need to understand, when Paragon blesses a woman, she'll never sneeze again. Now, all of you are in peril, just like the professional wrestling business, just like this company. You know why? Because you need Paragon in your life. You see, all of you, the, the power you want all of a little too much. You are all at a crossroads. But guess what, baby? <laughs> Paragon will be your salvation. You hear that, Wells? Paragon's going to be your salvation. Percy Davis, the Crossroads champion. Man, you like the prettiest and most well-dressed person here. But all that pretty, all that well-dressed stuff makes up for you being so goddamn stupid. I don't think Paragon liked that comment. Paragon, check this. I know for a fact you didn't use the word crossroads, knowing very well the crossroads champion, Big Parse, was in the building. You cannot be that stupid and that arrogant all together, can you? Yes, 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 yes. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Paragon. Yes, yes. Okay, talk to your hand. Well, Mr. Paragon's hand. Speaking of hands, Big Parse really wants to put his upside Paragon's head. And Big Purse has an open challenge tonight. And Big Purse is in the business, Paragon, of opening that challenge to you. But you know what, you know what? That's not up for Big Purse to decide whether or not you get an opportunity. Let's ask New Wave Pro. Do you think Big Purse should put his fist upside Paragon's head tonight? Sounds like a resounding yes to me. And there's a yes chant to back you up. If you want attention, Paragon, I'll give you all the attention you need in that ring. Step up and get a taste. The challenge has been laid down, and here comes a referee, Big Purse Percy Davis. He wants a fight. He wants to defend the Crossroads title, and it looks like the Vainglorious One is going to give it to him. You better be careful what you wish for, because when someone the talent caliber of Paragon accepts. May not end your way. And it is first, the challenger, weighing at 210 pounds, from the main metropolis, Van Glorious and Notorious. That's 
our ring announcer, Chris Abel, who might want to get him some honey. Speaking of too sweet, Percy Davis. What an opportunity this is for Paragon. I mean, you know, you and I were talking to him earlier, and he was already discussing how he believes that this company should be renamed New Wave Paragon. And after tonight, I mean, it'd, it'd be hard to agree with him if he walks out here as a Crossroads champion. Absolutely. The guy oozes confidence. I mean, look at him just chilling up there on the top rope. Just make that W black and change the P to purple, and I think we're all good to go. And I think he'll wrestle when he's ready to wrestle in this match. But I tell you what, Peyton, this match is going to be too sweet. Some technical ability there by the big man. tell you one thing about Big Purse. He might be sweet, but he can get sour real quick. He may need to get sour if he wants to get by the Vainglorious one here tonight. Hammer lock. Look at that counter. Reverse. Look at that counter by Big Purse. Squeezing away at the head and the chin of Paragon. That Luckily, he's not a great. The purple could be just oozing all kinds of fluids. Uh, but now he's got his turn. No, but look at Big Purse. Keeps countering, but look at that. Look at that wise move there by Paragon. That's a rope break. Breaking the hole. I can't believe these people would call Paragon a chicken. I haven't seen anything deserving of that yet. The crowd definitely siding with Percy Davis in this one. Oh, that didn't feel good. Massive chop and sets up and he drills a second one. The referee needs to get in there. That is headbutt after headbutt just rocking Paragon. Big Purse likes that, though. Double arm takeover. No, a kick out at one. Van Glorious rolls to the outside. He is very, very smart. Avoiding Big Purse's offense in this one. Uh oh. Shh. Well, let's be quiet. Oh, right in his sweet tooth. Big Purse. Sneaking up on Paragon and laying him out. Big Purse knocked and Van Glorious shouldn't have answered the door on that one. Oh, now Paragon with a chop of his own, and it has no effect. Look at Big Purse. He is built, man. He can't feel those chops. He's asking for it. That man's chest workout is a thing of glory, so Paragon's going to need to come with more if he wants to affect Pe Big Purse on this one. Oh, God, he better watch out right now. Oh, oh, that wasn't good. Now that's how you get Big Purse to feel something. Steal. The arm is definitely hurt. And Paragon, he, he sees the injury. He's going to take full advantage of it. Paragon now working the uh, injured arm there. You can hear Big Purse screaming in pain. You don't hear that very often. Oh, that was not good. That may have just shattered every bone in the arm and the shoulder of the Crossroads champion. That was not sweet right there by Big Purse. He is not liking that at all. Paragon needs to stay on the arm. He needs to keep the bigger man down if he wants any hope of walking out here as the champion. 
Shot right to the ribs. What a kick. There you go. More kicks. Right to, and, and Purse is asking. He is telling Paragon to give him everything he's got. And he caught it. He gave it to him and he caught it. Oh, no. Right back to the arm. Big Purse is one tough cookie. Keeping it sweet here. If you couldn't tell, Peyton. Oh, what a shot. That is it. Out like a light. Running Centon, will that be enough? No, it won't. Kick out at two, Paragon still it's gonna, alive in this one. It's going to take more than that to keep down the Vanglorious one. Vanglorious and notorious. I like that. I like, I like Paragon's swagger. He's got a lot of swagger out there. You should get some fashion tips from him after the show. You could use it. Well, purple is my favorite color, so... I am wearing sleeves tonight, believe it or not. Oh, right back to the arm. Paragon, very smart. Oh, you're a Right there. Both men are down, but look who's making his way back to the ring. It's Colt Storm. Earlier in the night, Paragon and Colt Storm had some words, and maybe we're about to find out exactly, Peyton, what were they saying? Nope, rope break. I can't tell. The look on Colt Storm's face is very interesting. It's hard to tell what. Well, now he's up on the apron. Is he here to help Paragon, or is he here to, to take problem with it? Oh, wait a minute. As, as the referee is distracted, and Paragon, he's got that staff. And nobody sees it. Oh! Except for Colt Storm. He got an up close and personal look. Totally takes out Colt Storm. And here's Pert. Oh! Wow. Purse. Big Purse just laid out Paragon. Injured arm and all. Will it be enough? Oh, yes, it is. It's over. And we are this match. And still, we crossroads champion, Carson Davis. New Wave Pro is coming to Paris, Illinois on Saturday, March 26th for Paris Mon Amour. You will see all of your favorite New Wave Pro stars, famous independent faces, and exciting debuts as independent wrestling's best kept secret goes out of Indiana for the very first time. You've seen them on AEW and NWA, now see them in NWP as Kylie Ray takes on Misa Kate. The young goat, Myron Reed, makes his New Way Pro debut against Nate Matthews. Don't Die Miles faces a challenge to their championship reign against Anakin Murphy. Mad Dog Connolly will be let off the leash against the debuting Crash Jackson with the New Way Pro Higher Ground Championship on the line. Public Enemy number one Eric Dillinger clashes with the king of New Way Pro, Solomon Tupu. And Victor Analog goes head-to-head -head with a rising star from the South, the locksmith, Brandon Williams. You will see all of them with more matches to be announced at New Way Pro's Paris Mon Amour on Saturday, March 26th at the Ernie Evelyn Gym in Paris, Illinois. Doors are 5 p.m. and first bell is 5.30 p.m. Central Time. Tickets are available now and start at just $10.00. For more information, call 812-264-7699 or contact us on Twitter or Facebook. We can't wait to see you there. Well, and Nate Matthews calls himself the Uber Mensch, and if you're not familiar with what exactly that means, it's Beyond Man, Superman, Overman, Uberman, or Superhuman. This is the evolution of man. Uber Mensch, Nate Matthews. Miles looking to get the crowd hyped, get them in his corner. He's going to need them to get by the evolution of man. Oh, wow. There you go. He said that Miles didn't have the power. Nate Matthews sure does. And Nate Matthews might launch Miles Morales to higher ground in this match. Miles working the crowd, getting him on his side. He's a fan favorite here in the New Wave Pro Arena.
Now Matthews, he does have a size and strength advantage, but he cannot underestimate Miles Morales. Miles is very talented, and he is quicker than a hiccup in that ring. Miles is very, very fast. And there you go, don't blink, you might miss something. Huracarana and Matthews, he is, he's trying to fight. Oh, and another arm drag. Miles is on fire. Look at that drop kick sending Matthews to the outside. And Matthews has no idea what hit him. Uh-oh, is Miles thinking what, I'm, what I think he's going to do? He is going up and right on over. Oh, no. And there, there you go, playing off the strength of Nate Matthews. But look at that, the quickness of Miles Morales. How evolved do you have to be to be able to take a ring post to the face? Miles looking to go to higher grounds with the crossbody. Nailed it. But Matthews kicks out at two. That wasn't quite high enough to take down the evolution of man. Nate Matthews. Nate Matthews, he thinks it's all about size and strength. Well, speed is a definite factor in that ring. Oh, and he caught him. Oh, well, speed ain't going to help him here. Oh, my God, the evolution of man about force Miles to evolve into a bird off that belly to belly. Uber Mensch sending Miles high in the sky, but somehow Miles kicks out at two. Oh, a cocky cover by Nate Matthews. Nate now working on the left leg of Miles Morales. That is actually very strategic and very smart by Nate Matthews taking out one of Miles' high-flying legs. If you take the speed away from Miles Morales, you ground the high-flying aspect, and that is all of Miles' game. Nate and Matthews knows it. Nate he is targeting that leg. He is doing a number to that leg. Oh, this isn't going to be good. That right there is how you tear a patella tendon. And Miles needs all the patella tendons that he can get in those knees for them to operate at 100% full strength. Oh, snap suplex, and Miles lands right on the back of his head. And Matthews is going to capitalize. Will it be enough? One, two. No, Miles kicks out. And Matthews going right back for that leg, but Miles fighting out of it. Miles is hurt, Peyton. He is hurt. Oh! Matthews is so strong, so powerful. The Uber Mensch going for another pin. Another cocky cover. I'll tell you what, Nate Matthews, he, he may be in control, but he has got to get his head in the game here. Those cocky covers are not going to do anything for him. I guarantee you, Miles has enough heart to be able to kick out of lackadaisical pinfalls like that. Drop kick on the bad leg, and you, the bad leg, you got to wonder, is that smart move? Are those moves intelligent by Miles, or is that just all he knows? Well, Nate going right back for the leg, taking Miles down to the ground, and going for what appeared to be a cover for a quick second, but no. Uh-oh. He's put, wait a minute. Oh, a sharpshooter. Oh, my goodness. It's the evolution of execution. Eat your heart out, Bret Hart. Nate Matthews going for the sharpshooter. Oh no, don't die, Miles won't be executed right now. He makes it to the bottom rope. And the straps come down for the Ubermensch. He's looking to finish Miles once and for all. Miles got very lucky to break out of that sharpshooter because now he's in the middle of the ring and look at that! Dazed and confused, Nate Matthews doesn't know where he's at right now. Comic book athleticism from Miles Morales. Will it be enough to put down the evolution of man? 
The Ubermensch. Will he? No, oh, his arm's under the rope, though. He, he got bailed out right there, Peyton. Miles on the quite momentum swing here, feeding off the New Wave Pro crowd. Oh, he went for the drop kick on the leg. I don't know if he got all of it. It was enough to put Miles down. What a maneuver by Matthews. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Miles is out. No, he's not. He kicks out at two again. And the Uber Mensch is in disbelief. Matthews looking to hoist Miles up high. And I believe this is where Miles' catchphrase comes into play. Don't die, Miles. Well, he better make a move or that phrase unfortunately might be coming true right after this. Miles fighting out of it, he has. What is Miles doing? Oh my God! Horikarana from the top row! It's gotta be it! Miles looking to prove Matthews wrong! Oh, no. Unbelievable ring awareness there by Nate Matthews. That was one hell of a maneuver on higher ground. Baby. I don't know if you can get higher than that. But Miles is gonna try. He's going back up one more time. Miles high. Will it be enough? Oh no, he crashes and burns. And I think that might be it for Miles. Are we gonna see it? Matthews, yes, the burning hammer, and Miles goes down face first. That'll be all she wrote. The Uber Mensch picks up the victory. I don't think he is. He is very unhinged. He is very unpredictable. I will say this, though. His theme music, everybody's working for the weekend. Today is Sunday. He's about to put in the work yeah. on this weekend. Keeler telling the referee that he thought he was going to get Johnny Echo tonight. Uh, that definitely did not happen, and I think he's about to take his frustration out on the young guy from Chicago. I don't, oh, yep, I don't think this is going to be a good night for Devontae. Oh, Johnny, if you're watching, that was meant for you. And you can hear that echo throughout the entire New Wave Pro Arena. Those chops to Knox's chest. You got to imagine and you got to think that Tanner Keeler thinks that Devontae Knox is Johnny oh, Echo. Right without now. question, he is definitely seeing Johnny Echo's face on the body of Devontae Knox, and it is not looking good for Knox. Tanner Keeler just ragdolling Knox. Knox hasn't even had an opportunity to show anything that he can do in this match. Keeler has been dominant ever since the bell rung. You can just tell this, this pent up rage has been happening. Oh wait, there was a drop kick. Finally some offense there by Knox. Uh -oh. And a splash is caught. Uh -oh. oh, it's the hard Knox life for Devante. And what a belly to belly suplex there by Tanner Keeler. Knox felt every bit of that. Well, as I was saying, you can tell that the rage and frustration in Tanner Keeler has been building since January, and Knox, he is feeling the full force of it. Bulldog from the second rope, and that's gotta be it. Yes, it is. I guess you could say that was a Knox out. Keeler went to work on this weekend. Picking up the win, and man, he's not done, Peyton. He is not done. Now this, this right here, this is a message to Johnny Echo. The referee's got to get in there and stop this. This is uncalled for. Wait a minute. Oh! I thought for a split second that Knox was going to counter, but boy, was I wrong. Oh, 
and look at that, Peyton Tanner. Keeler with the chair to the steel post. He is about to literally shatter whatever's left of Devontae Knox. Oh no, I guess one chair wasn't enough for Tanner. All right, we need some help. This is getting a little ridiculous. Tanner Keeler may be looking to end the career of Devontae Knox. This is not good. And you can hear the crowd chanting, we want Johnny, but Johnny Echo's not here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And I believe Tanner wants Earl Joseph, the general manager. Well, he better get out here quick, because if he doesn't, I got a bad feeling about this. NWP General Manager Earl Joseph making his way to the ring. Grabs the mic right out of Earl's hands. For months, I've been playing out to be the bad guy. Shut up. I'm tired of hearing you talk. I'm tired of your accent. I'm tired of your lying in the Shut your mouth. to him if I was Earl. You won't show me? Yeah. Show it down time. Put it down. Or what? What are you? You won't show me again? Okay. September 12th, it begins. The terror holds on. You can have Johnny, but you've got to, you've got to stop this right now, Tanner. Can't do this. You can have Johnny on September 12th. Don't do it. Don't do it. There is some serious hatred between those two former best friends, and it's going to come to a head at New Beginnings. And poor Devante, he's knocked out in the middle of the ring. He needs to be carried out of here. But yeah, to re uh, reiterate what you just said there, it looks like Tanner Keeler will get what he asked for, taking on Johnny Echo on September 12th. It will be Tanner Keeler versus Johnny Echo at New Beginnings at the Terre Haute. National Guard Armory. Gotta fight, Scamuso. Percy Davis. So, you remember me? You cheated me. You cheated me to win that Crossroads Championship, Boos. Ran in before the match even started, trying to justify what I did. I was trying to make a name for myself in New Wave. So, you were scared. You knew I was gonna beat you. That's why you ran in on me. It's okay. Love thy love, Boos. Baftai Lava. I got your number, Sole. Percy Davis, you keep my strap warm for me. I will see you soon. Mean Dick saying, cut the music. I got something to say. Dick is not very nice. That's why we call him mean. Don't mess with the you understand? So listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, hey.
to Wawa Fest, am I right? I told you he was mean, Peyton. You're taking cheap shots. I don't know if I'd be making comments like that when you got a broken hand. And Jason Lee, oh, oh my god, right off the ropes. Right off the bat, and here comes Dalton Davis off the top rope. Dalton climbing high, as high as he can go, and a crossbody from the top. And we're off to a hot start in this tag team action outside the ring. Dalton Davis, finally. I think this match is not even official yet. Paying homage to one of the late greats. There it is. The bell has officially rung. This match is underway. You can hear the snap, crackle, and the pop. And there was a tag made, but I don't think the ref saw it. Oh, but I wish, I bet mean Dick Michaels wishes he wouldn't have got in there right then and there. It don't matter what the ref saw, because he still ate a spine buster, and Dalton goes over the top. Ooh, and Lytle just lays out Dalton Davis on the outside of the ring. And there's a tag. The ref saw that one. Mean Dick is officially with a broken freaking hand in this match. But you know, the referee's got to watch that because I mean, we've seen through history, some of the greatest of all time have learned to use those casts as a very dangerous weapon. Oh, and look at that. Tag team maneuver at its finest. But a kick out from Dalton Davis. And you gotta wonder, Peyton, how many times will mean Dick Michaels use that cast to his advantage throughout the course of this tag team match? I mean, do we know for sure that his hand is actually broken? Have we checked that? I can't confirm nor deny. I just listen to what the man says, and I'm going to take his word that he's got a broken frickin' hand. I mean, he's not very trustworthy, though. That's my point. He's a very sinful man. An original sinful man. But look at Jason Levi over there. He's just chomping at the bit. He wants the hot tag. But Dalton says, wait a second. I got some fight left. Oh man, Dalton, he could have went for the tag right there, but chose not to. Will it pay off? No, it doesn't. You gotta take opportunities in this game when you have them, and he should have gone for the tag right there. Absolutely, because Jason Levi is fresh, and he's ready to get in this tag team match. But I think, Dal I think Dalton's okay, Peyton. I think he's okay. Well, I thought he was okay. Oh, he ain't okay after that. A knee to the sternum and then a shining wizard to the back of the head. Dalton's tough, but can he survive the knee? Yes, he can. The original sins are definitely wearing down. Dalton Davis and Jason Levi on the outside of the ring. He get is, this new wave crowd, crowd going hype, wanting to get that tag. He is pacing very heavily over there. He wants the tag. He is a big bull waiting to get into the pasture. Blatant hair pulling. And the referee seems like he's going to allow it. Yeah, Peyton, I don't think these original Sin guys, I don't think they really care too much about the rules. And look at that, just toying with Jason Levi. Tyler Lytle, he don't care, man. He just doesn't care. Now the referee, he needs to be paying attention. That was definitely more, more than what would have been a five count. And look at mean Dick Michaels trying to be all sneaky outside there. Jaw jacking with the crowd. Big forearms to the face. Dalton Davis with a backhand, and that one ricocheted throughout the arena. Going for a suplex, but it's countered by Lytle. 
Oh, and he's got a nice clothesline there, taking down Davis. Here's a cover. And a two count. Oh, that one almost could have been a three. I don't know, did Dalton's shoulder get off the mat? Just barely, Peyton, just barely. I think the fans may have agreed with me. They're telling the referee what they think of him. Dalton Davis has got to make the tag to Jason Levi, who is super duper fresh out there, just itching to get in here at higher ground. Man, these guys are throwing just bombs at each other. Back Haymaker after Haymaker. Oh, and a back elbow rocks Davis. Davis right in. Will look like the Michinoku driver. This is the moment Dalton's been waiting for. This is his opportunity to make that tag and get Jason Levi. He has got to get to Levi. He has got to get the biggest man in this match, actually in this match. Oh, uh, there's the tag. Mean Dick Michaels, and there it is. Here's the hot tag. Jason Levi, he's coming in. Guns a blazing. Oh, look at that move on Lytle. Round and round we go, and Levi, oh, oh into a center. <laughs> Levi's feeling it, he is super fresh. Oh, running knee right to the side of the face. Is that it? No, it's not. And I thought the society was gonna have another knockout there to add to their resume. Davis now back in. We got a little tag team action going on here for the number one contenders, the Knockout Society. What's Levi gonna do? Oh! Oh! Well, there might be the knockout. Oh no. Oh! Oh, did you see that, Peyton? Smart ring awareness there by Lytle, saving his tag team partner. Dalton Davis ran into the European uppercut and inadvertently broke up the count, but you gotta believe if that wouldn't have happened, it would have been it. Absolutely, that was a three count. That was a three count waiting to happen. Levi going to higher ground. Big Levi climbing high. Oh, there it was! There it was, Peyton. I told you he was gonna use that cast. You can call me Nostradamus, because I predicted that one. And look at Mean Dick, it's all legal too. Oh, oh! Roundhouse kick! It doesn't matter! Oh, right on the back of the head! That's gotta be this it. This is it! That's gotta be it! Somebody find a fat lady and tell her to start singing! The winners of the match! The originals! Hey, look, we told you! We told you! This is nothing new to us, man. We've been winning since day one. Let them know, we man. got here to New Wave to come to prove a point. And Chief, have you seen kids' eyes since the match? They won't. Look like a golf ball, son. You can't mess with the sins. We've been doing this since day one. We the hottest day tag one. team on the planet. And that's because death does not do apologies. <laughs> and neither do the original sins. I mean, the ominous presence of Justin Kyle at ringside has got to be a weighing factor in the mind of Cole Radrick. And look at him lurking around ringside with the title around his waist, constantly reminding everybody that that just happened earlier in the night. He is the new New Wave Pro Heavyweight Champion. I mean, like him or hate him, I gotta admit, that title looks pretty good around Big JK's waist. Well, Shiloh Greaves wasting no time taking Cole Radrick down to start this main event here at Higher Ground. Irish whip counter by Radrick into the Luthes press and he's laying down shots. Radrick full of energy. Flying forearm, knocks down Grace and there's a second one. Oh, but look at that. 
Justin Kyle. Well, that didn't take long. Making his presence felt at ringside, but looks like it might have backfired there as Radrick is back in control. Look at that kip up from the Wild Heart. It's going to take more than that to keep Shiloh down. Both of these guys are full of energy, full of athleticism, and full of heart. But never underestimate the wild heart, Cole Radrick. I'll tell you who not to underestimate. Don't underestimate Shiloh Graves. Obviously, as we saw earlier, he has some pretty smart game plans. You got to wonder if he's got another one planned for this match. Well, I'm definitely not ignorant about that. Well, there you go again. Again, Justin Kyle tries to interfere. Hey, look at that. The referee just tossed Justin Kyle. Now, wait a minute. I mean, I, I understand, but can you do that? Can you banish the heavyweight champion of the company from ringside? Listen, JK might be the champion, but the referee is in control of this match. And the crowd sending away JK. Well, this is a game changer for Radrick. And Shiloh knows it, and he's going to take advantage. He has got to now stay on top of Radrick. His big backup has been booted. And finally, it's even playing ground here at higher ground for both of these competitors in the main event. Now going into a cover, and it's it's definitely going to take more than that to keep down Radrick. He is a tough young kid, and it's going to take a lot of punishment to keep him down for the count of three. And I can't emphasize this enough. He has a lot of heart, that Cole Radrick. And I think that plays a strong, strong, strong part in this match against Shiloh Greaves. Well, the kid with a lot of heart, the kid with a wild heart, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man who seemingly doesn't have a heart in Shiloh Greaves, and we learned that firsthand earlier tonight. I still can't believe that Shiloh Greaves came out here earlier in the night, tried to align himself with Sam Knight, only to totally turn on Sam Knight and help JK win the New Way Pro Heavyweight title. And now look at this, Shiloh, just like Sam, he is targeting that leg, sending a clear message. Well, Shiloh Greaves definitely very cocky with every move that he makes, taking advantage of Cole Radrick in the corner. And you, you're right, Peyton, going for that leg. Putting Cole at a high disadvantage with a leg injury. I mean, I know I said it earlier, but I got to think that the Shiloh would love nothing more. He would love to send Cole Radrick straight to the nearest medical facility to be lying right next to Sam Knight. Got a submission move locked in right now. Radrick agonizing in pain. The referee checking to make sure Radrick could still continue. Looks like Radrick feeding off the crowd. Powering out of this. Look at that, Peyton. He reversed it into a submission all of its own, and Shiloh is in trouble. Oh, no, digging at the eyes. What a dirty move there by Shiloh Greaves, but look at him reacting to that submission. I think this might be a level playing ground once again. Both of these guys feeling leg injuries. Oh, and there goes your level playing field. Shiloh just advanced in the game with that low drop kick. And now look at that. What just taunting the fans. That is unsportsmanlike conduct right here at New Wave Pro Higher Ground. But Shiloh Greaves doesn't care about these fans. Well, he doesn't care about sportsmanship. 
Look at him. Look at him just taunting. See, but now this, I got I to gotta disagree. He needs to be staying on top of Radrick right now. He is injured, and his leg is seriously hurt, and, and Graves is, is just letting him, letting him get a breather. Well, he tosses him to the other side of the ring, and I think Greaves wants a count out victory. I think you're right. I think he'd love nothing more than to just get a count out and head, head home. The less work Greaves has to put in, the happier he is. Well, he may get it too. The referee is at a count of seven. And nope. Rad Radrick rolls back into the ring, breaking up the 10 count. Right back to the leg. Shiloh Greaves is uh, very cocky to say the least. Oh, runs right into a back elbow and Greaves is dazed. Too much showboating, Peyton. Too much showboating. Drop kick from the second rope and Radrick is fighting back in this. Radrick's really hurt though. I'm surprised he was able to pull out that maneuver with his hurt left leg like that. He may be hurt, but he, he, we got to understand how lucky Radrick is right now. Just not having Justin Kyle at ringside is a serious advantage for Cole. Both men back up on their feet. Temporarily as Radrick goes down to one knee. Oh, what a stiff shot right to the chin. And Greaves returns it. Yeah, but look at that. Look at that grin by Cole Radrick. He, oh. he encourages the punches to the face. Sit down, spine buster. Will it be? No, it's not. This is our main event here at New Wave Pro Higher Ground. We appreciate everybody out there watching worldwide because this has been one exciting night in Terre Haute, Indiana. Well, now I got to question this. I don't think with an injured leg, this is the smartest move, but it pays off nonetheless. Will it be? No. That's the thing with Cole Radrick. When you got a wild heart like he does, you can pull off moves like that at any given moment. He definitely took a gamble there and it paid off in a big way. And Radrick is feeling it. Fueled by the revenge for his friend Sam Knight. And you got to wonder if Shiloh Greaves is getting a second wind here. Once again, showboating. Oh! Diving elbow right into the sternum of Radrick. One, two, Radrick kicks out. Greaves can't believe it that Radrick still has a lot of fight left in this main event at higher ground. And see again, Greaves, he should have been focused on the leg. Oh wait, now he is. Got him in an ankle lock. Kurt Angle would be very proud if he was watching right now. And you never know, maybe he is. You gotta wonder if Greaves was baiting in Radrick right there. Torquing away at the ankle and the knee of Radrick, but he reverses it into an ankle lock of his own. What a counter by Radrick. Oh man, the irony here. Could you imagine if Radrick were to severely injure the leg of Greaves? Greaves reaching for the ropes, and he got it. Referee has to break up the hole, and he does. You gotta wonder, Peyton, how much energy do both of these men have left in this match? 
How much leg stamina? Oh no, right back to the ankle. Do they lock. have in this match? We're about to find out how much Radrick has left. He has got to hold on. And another counter, but this time the referee. Oh, what a jumping kick right to the ear, and Greaves is rocked. <laughs> 